So I'm editing this, so I'm going to put this first. In case of a tie, guys. <laughs> this is guys, way later in the episode. <laughs> this is like way later. In case of a tie, guys, uh, we are going to guess a marriage of a random celebrity. <laughs> and whoever's closest wins. What is Chief and My Dudes? I hope you're having a fantastic Friday, and I'd like to see, I'd like you to see our sponsor this week. I'd like to see our sponsor this week. Foster. <laughs> I'd like to see our sponsor this week. Here's to you, Dad. I hope you guys are uh, excited for our episode this week. I don't remember what it is, but you we're going to figure it out in a second. Oh, this is uh, one of my favorites that we do Valentine's Day time. How long were they married? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, talk- it's a game. It's a game. It's where it's love in the air, but you know what comes with love? Divorce. And so this week we're going to be talking about celebrities, athletes, well-known people that you may or may not have known were married. And we are going to present prompts on how long were they married. The other person guesses. You guess right. You get a point. You don't. You don't. At the end of this, one person will be a ninny. Mm -hmm. I'm a ninny right now, which I'd like to not be. And because we've played this game once or maybe even twice, it's like smaller pickings for the weirdest divorces. We've already been through the Nick Cage four hours, uh, Kim Kardashian 72 days. We've been through all these weird ones, so it's about to get obscure. Yeah, so with mine, like you said, we went through those really quick ones. We, we, we've done the game like three times, I think. And mm-hmm. I ran out of ones to pick from, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just, <laughs> just going to go off people that I like. So I just have a bunch of celebrities that I have followed or have been following on social media for a long time. You follow celebrities? With uh, a photograph uh, a, a, a <laughs> photograph a, 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 a photograph of them. <laughs> Do you know this man? <laughs> <laughs> this is you. I like you. You don't look as good right now. Um yeah. So I like I said, I just have celebrities on here that I, I like and have followed their career for a really long time. Some of them I think one of them's dead actually. So we'll get to that. Uh, I guess since I am first, or since I'm the ninny, yes. I'll go first. Let's do it. Um, okay, my number one is, believe it or not, Ripley. Elton John was married to a woman. Really? Yes. Huh. So his marriage to, I think it's pronounced Renee, but it's R-E-N-A-T-E. So it might be Renat, huh. or Renate, I don't know. French? Renee Blau. Josh, how do you pronounce that? (laughs) Wee wee. That's how. (laughs) Um, So, was he either married for three months, three years, or four years? Oh, it's one of the years. Because this is while he was closeted. There's no way it was three months. Unless that would be hilarious if he's like three months after marrying this lady. I'm gay. I got to come out. I don't care about my musical career. (laughs) It's like, how bad bad. was this girl? Um, so three years or four years? I think it might be four years because I'm going into your psyche. I think you thought of three months and then you did three years. And four years might be right. So I'm going to say four years. Final answer? Yes. It is four years. <laughs> Dude. Correct. Like it, it is noggin Correct. right now. Correct. And I know what you had for breakfast. I don't even know what I had for breakfast. You didn't have breakfast. That's right. <sighs> This guy's good. (laughs) (laughs) All right. My first one is uh, Britney Spears and Jason Alexander. Who the hell is Jason Alexander? Not that Jason Alexander, damn it. I was hoping you knew (laughs) the most famous Jason Alexander. (laughs) Is that really (laughs) backfired? Yeah. Let me fucking finish. Uh, He was in Seinfeld, uh, George Costanza. Oh, no way. His name is Jason Alexander. This is not the Jason Alexander that Britney Spears is. See, now that would have like made sense. Okay, you have give it to me again. again. Give it to me again. Okay. Who the hell is... <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is Britney Spears? <laughs> I thought you were going to say it right away. You didn't do it. Well, let me talk. Jeez. Go. Britney Spears. Who the hell is Britney? <laughs> um, all right. These two childhood friends got married in Las Vegas in 2004, but the marriage was annulled 54 hours later. 48 hours later or 83 hours later? I thought you were going to tell me the answer and I was like, just fucking say it, dude, please. Um, <laughs> One of them is the answer. So, uh, sorry, I wasn't. Uh, it was an old 55 hours later, 48 hours later, or 83 hours later. 55, 43, or 80 what? 55, 48, 83. 50, 40, 80. I'm going to say 50. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 55 hours later, their marriage was annulled. 
Yeah, because you got to think. I mean, at some point you got to sleep. Drunk at night, There's right? no way that they slept, woke up. That's kind of funny. Slept though. and then woke up and the, was like, "I got to know this now." The thought process behind it. Not they waited a day. They're like, you know what? That was a mistake. But maybe this is good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they did a whole day. And they woke up again. They're like. Uh, it's like almost like the ups and downs of a 20 year marriage in two days. <laughs> but then they like, realize they're like, you're really bad with money. I'm just not who I used to be anymore. I'm, 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 I hate you. I don't know. You got that piercing now. I don't even know who you You've are. changed so much. I mean, you were in Seinfeld. Now you're not on Seinfeld anymore. The show's canceled. What am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, she's like, I thought this married me to the other Jason Alexander. She looks at the certificate, drunk and stupor, forgot who she married she's entirely. Like loophole. She's like, Alexander, I married into rich money. Yes. Yeah. All right, so one to one. Hell yeah, boy. Um, number two. You know how much I like Ryan Reynolds and how much I like Scarlett Johansson. Well, apparently they had been married at one point. Really? Didn't even know that. Yeah. Huh. So I look. I, I originally looked up uh, Ryan That's Reynolds' wild. marriages, and I was like, I wonder if like he was married before Blake Lively. He was, and then he he met Blake Lively. I mean, this means you lose your seat as head of the Ryan Reynolds fan club, right? Because you didn't I'll know. Just <laughs> about his rip up my fan club card. <laughs> um, so, were they either married for two months, two years, or four years? Oh, man. I say, I think if it was two months, I would have seen it. And four years seems like a long time. I'll say two years. That is correct. It was two years. Oh, dude. <laughs> Fucking on it right now. I feel great. You've gotten two answers right. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No Gwen way. Stefani. <laughs> I, I knew. That's a great segue. Great and segue. Gavin Rossdale from the band Bush. How long were they married before they divorced in 2016? So pretty recent. Give me options. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 13 years, 10 years, 15 years. Damn, they were married a Over long time. Over a decade, or at least a decade. Holy shit. So early 2000s marriage? 10, 12, 14, yeah. you said? Uh, 13, 10, 15. Oh, that was close. 13, 10, 15. I'm going to say 10 years. 13 years. Damn it. You know what's crazy, though? Gwen Stefani was actually married, or sorry, dating someone that was the drummer, I believe, of No Doubt. And then made the song Don't Speak, which was about him. And then they made it big, like, off of that song. Made, like, a shit ton of Is money. Is that, like, their song? Their song I, that I put mean, them on the map? I'm not, not, maybe not the one that put them on the map, but one that was, like, very, very popular. Damn. So, like, <laughs> you get broken up with, you're out of the band, and they all made it big. <laughs> that would suck so bad. It's like the Miley Cyrus song right now. Have you been hearing it? Mm-mm. It's, you've probably heard it. It's all over TikTok, but it's like a riff off of the Bruno Mars song. Like, I should have bought you flowers. Mm, okay. She like mocks, sings it. And I guess it's cause the Hemsworth guy sent it to her after they broke up. There's like a whole lore to this. That I need to look deeper into It's worth like looking into. She recorded the music video, like at the house where he had an affair or something like she rented it out. Like great pettiness. I love the, pe- <laughs> the I love pettiness in music. Speaking of pettiness. Oh, no, you're up. Hold that thought. Tom Petty. I guarantee it. Petty's next. It's Tom not, Petty. It's not. It's going to be. And he's a heartbreaker, if you know what I'm saying. Um, Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Robin Williams. Um, He's actually been married, I think, three times. But this particular marriage was to Marsha Grace's. Marsha? I think it's Grace's. Um, anyway. Josh. <laughs> it's not French. It's not French. <laughs> So, PCA? were they married for two years, 12 years, or 20 years? Do you have, like, the years of, or, like, what marriage it was? This was the second marriage. Second marriage. All right, tell me the uh, guesses. So, two years, 12 years, or 20 years? Oh, man. I wouldn't think a 20-year marriage for your second. Um, so, his third one, he was married when he... Die. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, I could see that being the longer one. So I'm gonna say two years for this one. Twenty years. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wild. That's interesting. So I want to say his last marriage. I can't really remember the the exact dates, but I think it was 2011 to 2014. So his last marriage was only for like three years. Right. Or four years if it was you know like the beginning of the year and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Wild. But his first marriage I think was only like four years. Or no. 
I think it was 10 years. Yeah, I would see the first one being The, the long. first one was long, and then this one was even longer than that, and then the last one was... surprising. I would have thought, yeah. the second one, if you get divorced, why stay together 20 years? That's crazy. That's a long time to get divorced, dude. Like, yeah. Jesus. It's tied, right? No, no it's, it's no. not tied. You it's, still have one up on me. Yeah, two to one. Yes. All right, please stand up, because I'm about to tell you about Eminem and Kim Mathers. Oh. Uh. How long were they married for the second time? Okay. Because they got remarried in 2001. Mm-hmm. Uh, in January 2001, they got married and then filed for divorce in what month of that same year? April, March, or July? So from January Wait, so they got to married. April, March, or July. So they got married and then divorced. divorced and then married again and then divorced within a year? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Okay, sorry. They got married in January? Uh Uh-huh, and then divorced in either April, March, or July. April, March, or July. So it's four, three, or seven. Four, three, or seven. I mean, it's. I'm sure they didn't make it very long, so they're like, you know what? We gotta just cut this as soon as possible. So I'm gonna say three. Um, No, it was April, four. Fuck! You know the funny thing? So they got remarried in January 2001. The song Kim came out in 2000. Yeah. That, I mean, if you're you, going to marry this guy if, after if, he made that song? That's insane. What's even worse is after he made that song, which was a horrible, horrible song about her. Um, yeah, he played it. He played it at a concert that he invited her to. And fun fact, brought her up on stage and they got married. No. <laughs> you're lying. That's a lie. No, yeah, of course. Okay. That'd be huge. <laughs> but she, she was like, I'll go to your concert as long as you don't play Kim. And he's like, don't worry, baby. You're the only one for me. I would never do that to my sweetheart. I wonder if this was after that 2001 divorce. And then fucking played it anyway. Wild. Why would you get married? That's crazy. God. And I wonder what she's up to. It, it, Is what, she alive? At what concert? Is Kim Mathers alive? At what concert are they like, yo, play Kim? Like, None. It's a good song. Is there though. a beat I will, even? Yeah, there is. It's it's a good song if you're it's not in a, a good song. No, it's a good song if you are in a really angry and shitty mood. Because you just go to the gym and just punch you, dance your rage out. Oh my gosh. I feel like you should be put on a list. I don't want to be at the same gym as you if you're listening <laughs> to Kim. And you're just like, dude, Rose. <laughs> listening to Kim. Dude, like, I'm telling no you, thanks. I'll leave. I'm like, telling you right now. The kid's going to pull out a gun from his gym. It, it is very therapeutic to be just jamming out to that song. I it's prefer nice. Through the Fire and the Flames. That's a good one. But it's so long. It's too much. Mm-hmm. You're done with your workout by the time it's halfway through. I mean, Eminem cries in his song. He doesn't cry. He says, "Bleed, bitch, bleed." <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, so I don't know if you saw the whole like Rick and Morty problems. Yeah, Justin Roiland, you he's piece kicked, of shit. Completely kicked off of Rick and Morty and all the other projects that he's been working Wild. on. Wild. Yeah. Um. But so there, I've been following this guy on TikTok that randomly popped up and he, he does a pretty good Rick and Morty impression and he's gotten famous because of it basically and then now this has happened and it's like well who do you think is going to replace the guy I guarantee it's him really oh for sure that's cool because he, he does a lot of followers yeah he's got a pretty good amount of followers he he's he doesn't look like someone that would be able to do this impression which is shocking because I look at him like oh he's clearly using like well, neither is d- Justin Roiland really I guess, yeah. But even Justin Roiland even like brought him up in an interview. He's like, dude, check this guy out. Oh, like, that's cool. So this is before <laughs> before the allegations, obviously. And now he's like, well, shit, this yeah, guy's going to guy take my Justin fucking Roiland job. Justin so angry that he... Or, or this guy wanted Justin Roiland's job and then set him up. <gasps> Conspiracies, it gets deep, man. Conspiracies. Dude, it gets deep. So anyway, Rick and Morty is Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon. Well, oh, Dan Harmon. Justin Roiland oh. has never been married, so Dan Harmon it is. It's uh, sad, like the whole like you know like the lore of his like studio mm-hmm. graphics. So the sad. graphics in the background or at the end of the episode, it shows him like production. sitting there like all lovey dovey and wife. stuff. And then the next season, she's gone. He's like alone on the couch. Yeah, it's, it's so fucking with, like, his, sad. With, like his dag, his dog like at his feet. His dag, <laughs> his dag. He like dags. You ever seen the the movie? It's not a porno, okay. I can't remember the name of it. Snatch. It's not a porno. No, I haven't. With Johnny okay. Depp. No, Brad Pitt. 
but it's, it's basically there's they like see these like Irish guys and the guy's trying to pawn a dog off on this other guy and he's like, you like dags? <laughs> he doesn't say dog. He's like, dags. What dags. the fuck's a dag? Anyway, uh, I digress. I digress. I digress. Uh, Dan Harmon and his wife Erin McGathy. McGath. McGathy. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> These are not French names. The first one was. Okay, so were they married for one month, one year, or five years? I mean, by the depressing nature of his studio graphics, I would say five years. If it's anything less, then I don't feel bad for Dan Harmon. It's one year. Then fuck <laughs> off, dude. What you, you're putting us through that emotional roller it's coaster. It's still you were sad, it. though. It's yeah, still were sad. Were they together like 10 years before? I don't know. That's insane. Married a year. So and like sad. You're like, oh, I'm depressed. I'm going to put it in my studio graphic. <laughs> like, what? Dude, a year? Well, they're not going to keep it there, though. I mean, maybe, mean? He, maybe he was so in love with this woman, right? That That's she even was, worse. But like that she was like, you know, and then and then they fell out yeah, of love. Your life's work was to create this studio. And then you put, like, I guess. I, don't know, that's... I think actually, I think eventually she got back into the, to the graphic. I want to say that she did. Yeah. I mean, That's, I don't know. The, I don't. This I don't think they got remarried though. Any better? I don't think they got remarried, but still, I think she's back in it. And then he kicked the dag out. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey is my next one. Of course, warning shot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Bro, are you serious? You didn't yeah. make the connection? I thought. No. I thought for sure that's why you went to that one next. Um, how long were they married? A lot of people, I think, think it was a long time. Um, but that might shock you. So, sorry, for those that don't know, Eminem dated Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey Allegedly. Said, <laughs> she for sure did. Allegedly. Then she came out with a diss track out of nowhere. And, and she, like, in an interview, like, well, no, no, no. slighted him, I think. It was like, no, I never dated him. But then also made a song. And he like, was... Why are you so upset? Yes, it? that was it. And then and then he was like, okay, this is Eminem bullshit. Said, Bleed, bitch! That- <laughs> <laughs> Then, she, then uh, she put him in the video, like a, a body double of him, like with a goatee. And he's like, Was that supposed to be me in the video with the goatee? And the goatee? And the song Warning tea? Shot. Um, is it Warning Shot? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Sh- or is Warning Shot at Everlast? I think. I don't know. No, whatever. Warning it is. Shot's MGK. What the fuck's it called? Here's what I found from Wikipedia. The Warning. Oh, The Warning. Okay, okay. So, yeah, he made that diss track about her and was like, Oh, you thought that I was taking too long? That if, if I was taking so long, I didn't have any dirt on you? Well, guess what, Mariah? I was in the studio trying to make it loud or something like that. And then just fucking just tears her apart in this song. So I thought that's what his connection was because he actually references Nick Cage or <laughs> Nick Cage, Nick Cannon in the song as well. And then Nick Cannon had a response, but no one cares about Nick Cannon's music. It was music. so bad, dude. His, his response was terrible. Yeah, we just love his hosting abilities and the way he pops out babies. Uh-huh. I mean, he's on like 45 now, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think he's building North Korea. Good on you, man. Um, How long were they married? 10 years, 9 years, or 6 years? Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon recently divorced, I think, over the last few years. I'm going to say 6 years. Yeah, it was 6. Yes. I thought it was way longer. I thought it was way shorter. Really? Yeah. I thought they were together since like the early 2000s. I thought it was like 2 years. Oh, no, because like, I, that's, for me, I was like shocked by this. I never really knew that they were even dating. So, like, when I had already heard about them divorcing, it was the first time I heard about them being together. So, I'm like, <clears throat> must not have been that long. Two to two. So, you got Elton John, Scarlett Johansson, and Ryan Reynolds. You did not get Marsha Grace and Rob Williams. You did not get Dan mm-hmm. Harmon. So, yeah, we're two to two then. Fucking Dan Harmon in one year. It's like insane. Um, are you familiar with the movie franchise Underworld? Yeah, Kate Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale. Okay, so now there's also... Damn you, Pete Davidson. <laughs> ruining my favorite, Son dude. Son of a bitch. Um, are you familiar with... I want to say he's no, in if Twilight. No, like an obscure actor he's in, in Twilight. Movie, then he's in Twilight, too. Is it the old man? No, it's it's the guy that's at the very end that's like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, he's, uh, the, yeah, he's really eccentric. I'm you just shocked that you got means? that. No, I know. I'm just shocked oh. that you got yeah, that. Yeah, he stands out in that movie. Wow. He's like in the Volturi, right? Maybe. I don't know him in uh, Underworld, he, but I know him in Twilight. 
I gotta pull up a picture to make sure you're talking about the same guy, cause it's I'm almost positive. There's no other character like that in Twilight that acts that way. I'm just shocked that you knew that. Yeah, like in in the scene where like he predicts the battle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Dude, I'm a I'm a lighter. I'm a Twilighter. <laughs> I can't believe you just, you just said that. Team Lycan, dude. I still got to look it up just to make sure. Hang on. I mean, I just explained it twice. Okay. All right, so this guy's marriage, I have no context of his personal life at all. I have to guess this shit. Yeah. Sick. 14 years. Kate Beckinsale and his name is Len Wiseman. Were they married? Oh, they were married? Yeah. Oh. That's shocking just that they were even married. Well, that's what I was leading into with the whole, you know... I didn't know... Talking about her and then talking about him. Oh, I thought you were saying he was in both movies. He is in both movies. Oh, okay. But they met on the Underworld set. Got it. I think. Um, anyway, so they were married for either 11 years... What's his name? 12 years or 13 years. Len oh Wiseman. Oh gosh, 11, 12, 13. And I just yelled out 14, guessing. <laughs> <laughs> um, 11, 12, 13... I'll say 12 years. Mm, 11 years. Oh, okay. They even had a kid, too. And I thought, when I heard Kate Beckinsale was dating Pete Davidson, I thought it was going to be Kate, that, Kate Beckinsale's daughter that was dating Pete. But it was the other way around, and I was pretty Is she pissed. she that old? She's older now. I mean, she's she was closer she's closer to Pete's age than Kate oh, is to Pete. that's weird. That's weird. I'm pretty sure she's my age. All right, to win it, Daniel. And this uh, leads into an episode we'll have later this month, because I was looking up presidents and how many times certain presidents have been married i think this guy takes the cake having three marriages i think it was only two marriages before uh, it's like the most of a president donald trump and marla maples after his 15 year long first marriage donald trump married his second wife marla in 1993 and that marriage lasted how many years eight six eleven 1993 to eight years, six years, 11 years. I'm going to say eight years. Six years. God damn it. And that's a tie, folks. No tiebreaker. No, so we that, have to have a tiebreaker. The one we wasn't have set. To. One wasn't set going we in. have that's to have a tiebreaker. That should be on the onus of the ninny to come in with a tiebreaker. So I'm editing this, so I'm going to put this first. <laughs> In case of a tie, this is guys. way later in the episode. <laughs> this is like way later. In case of a tie, guys, uh, we are going to guess a marriage of a random celebrity, <laughs> and whoever's closest wins. <laughs> we could guess uh, closest to how long Bon Jovi has been married. Who the fuck is Bon Jovi? It's my life. Oh, I was thinking Bono. Oh, okay, so you know Bono then, too. But I wasn't, I was like, I didn't know his last name was Jovi. Oh. That's why I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I've only heard Bono. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, okay, that's on me. Uh, bon, is he, did you look him up or something? Why did that pop in your head? No, I just, I'm familiar. That with... smirk makes me very suspicious. He's not divorced. He's currently married. Your dog farted. And his asshole's pointed right at me. Hell yeah, dude. That's Stop, how we, dude. That's how we spoke out that ninny. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to guess on three? Yeah. Three. One. Wait. Two. Oh. Okay. Dude, well, it's on right. three. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> what a ninny move. You're right. One, two, three, six years. years. <laughs> I don't know. He's like famously known for being in a really long term marriage. <laughs> I don't know. That's why he picked Bon Jovi. <laughs> yeah, because I knew it was a lot. I didn't know that. Well, you could have picked the tiebreaker, but... That's fair. How long has Bon Jovi been married? Please. <laughs> Ten. Here's an answer from MetalHeadZone.com. The legendary vocalist John Bon Jovi has been happily married to Dorothea Hurley since 1989. <laughs> so, so, a bit over six. So, so like, 35... <laughs> what is that about? It's... <laughs> Whatever it is. 11 it's, plus 23. It's a lot more than six. I win! <laughs> this tiebreaker is bullshit, and wow, I will contest great. it till the day I oh, die. I had some uh, fun facts about divorce before we break up. Oh, or yeah. Just, like, Those are always fun. Uh, divorces are down, which is surprising, because last time we did this a couple years ago, they were up. Probably because marriage is down. Um, Maybe, but then why would it be the same thing, though? I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I feel like marriage is down, so that would mean that divorce is probably down. I think it's related to COVID. Like I mean, think of it like this. Think of it like this, okay? 
car accidents, right? Car accidents yeah, are if down. If you don't drive, if you don't drive, you can't get in a car accident. You don't get married, you can't get divorced. I don't it, think that's rated the same way. Airtight. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. (laughs) Hope you had fun this week. We have a guest next week. Stick around. It'll be a lot of fun. And then we have a couple more fun plans for February. Um, First episode of the year. Enjoy it. Uh, We'll help you out next week with Valentine's Day, so stick around. Have a great weekend. From all of us here at the Chiefin Podcast, keep Keep it it Chiefin. Good sewed, guys.